monitor because right, you tend you don't to look, look at, at yourself. It. Right. So I frame the shot, and then and I frame the shot usually, usually off of the uh, <laughs> off of the barrels. Yeah. So we already started recording. Oh, Hi yeah. guys, I wanted to introduce you to my wife, Tanya. Um, today is Easter, 2024, and we're going to do some range time. And um, she's been out here a couple, couple times, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like most women, she's a natural shot, but there's a difference between plinking and a difference between fighting. And I want to teach her how to fight with a gun. So the most difficult weapon to master is, of course, the handgun. And um, but because I always have a handgun on me, I want her to be able to get this handgun off me if I'm if I'm down and to be able to defend herself. So as macabre as that sounds, that's why we're putting in the work. So let's get to it. This, what we're doing right now is we're finding our dot. Yeah, see, I'm still struggling with that. I'm not finding it. But yeah. it Tanya is right should. hand, left eye dominant. And I should try to leave both eyes open, correct? Yes, okay. because these are dots. Yeah. We, we don't have to aim anymore. We're actually, trigger finger, we're actually reacting now. In years gone by, it was front sight, rear sight, equal height, equal light, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, it's dot on target, and because these dots run off fiber optics, there are no batteries to fail, so it's dot on target. And you get to shoot the entire paddle from five yards as opposed to half the paddle from seven yards. <laughs> and when you come out, this is what you're doing left. You're doing this. Uh-huh. You need to come straight out to oh, it. okay. So basically, you're pivoting this mm -hmm. right at the bad guy. Okay. Instead of launching it up Not here launch. and bringing okay, it down. Fair enough. Because you don't want to do this, and you don't want to you don't want to uh, work. So you the want to come. It's right here, straight up. And you're always going to have wobble with the dot. Mm -hmm. Get used to it. Okay, now I want you to start doing this. Out, find your shot, and I want you to break the shot. And I want you to be sure that you're keeping the dot on target. Okay. And I want you to hold for just a moment. Okay. Tap. Watch my hands. Tap. Roll the gun. Rack. Back up. Is that? No, roll it to roll it to your. Oh, this way. Yeah, roll. Yeah, the only reason you're seeing it that way is because I'm. Because you're doing it that way. Here, let me do. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's okay. So it's it's a tap. It isn't. It isn't like yeah, get some. It's basically. It's a tap. Tap. And it's a pinch. Watch, pinch and release. Because you don't want to remember I told you you don't want to ride a slide because sure, sure, sure. yeah. you can cause a malfunction. So it's tap and then back on. The easiest way to do it is pull it to the rear, watch, and release. Open your hands. Okay. That way you don't have the accidental, you don't accidentally do that. Uh-huh. And be sure you're not doing this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because that gets really spicy. That can get spicy already. And I know it bites at you when you do this. <laughs> That's Remember that when fine. you it's do it. It's actually rubbing because I've got that stupid thing there. So it's, it's. Oh, is it getting you here? It's getting me right there. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, did I'm... you ever figure out? She got into the brambles back here in the raspberry canes. <laughs> got a nice little splinter in my finger. It's all good. It's still in there? Yeah. You want to? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's too tiny. <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the curved fingernail clippers. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. It's okay. I, can, I don't really feel it a whole lot anymore. Hey, if you're not bleeding, you're not training. Pretty you guys have heard me say it many times. <laughs> Blade and trading surviving combat. <laughs> so it's all it is is a tap. It's just a little boop. Mm -hmm. oh, change my foot position. I'm just, I can't find my dog. <laughs> and you snored it on camera. <laughs> Whee! Oh Lord. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> Happy Easter. We're going out for brunch later. Of course, by the time we do it, it'll be lunch. Brunch is brunch until two, dude. Oh, well, then it's brunch. Remember, unch is in there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> brunch. Brunch. How are you feeling when you rack it? Do you feel like you have control or is it kind of dragging on you? Is uh, it, hard, is it sure. hard to rack? No. Okay, good. I mean, I'm... See, and you can actually hook in here to help you. Hook right into right those there. holes. Drag it and just let it go. Yeah. And you want to go, you want to go now, as okay. far back as it goes. Okay, you do. You want to bottom out. You do want it to. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if that's. 
Because what you're trying to simulate is a jam. Okay. So you want to tap. The reason we're tapping is we're making sure the magazine is seated. Okay. And then we're racking to make sure that there isn't a malfunction in the chamber that we need to get rid of. Okay. And the way to, for, for you to do this, because for me, I'm, I'm a lefty, so gravity is in my, in my favor. The yeah. cutout is also in my favor, right? Right. For you as a righty, you have to get the gun in a position where you can help gravity. So mm -hmm. invert the gun. Like that. Don't go like this. Yeah. Just invert the gun into your hand. And that's, that's about as far as you need to go right there. And your workspace is always here. Never up here, meaning where you work with the gun is here. Never up here, never down here, which is everybody's okay. doing. It's here. It's here. It's here. If you get a malfunction, it's here. Gotcha. Work with the gun up in your workspace. All right. Remember, index finger along yes. the magazine. And it's one motion. It's in and then slide your finger like this on the edge to mm -hmm. tug to make sure it's seated. Mm -hmm. Roll the gun into your grasp, up in your workspace, and then, and then check. And for you, for you, you reach over and you go here. like this with your thumb. Right here? And as long as you feel that out, you're okay. good. Okay, okay, cool. And now, just start swimming along, just nice, slow um, center. And every time that the gun cycles i want mm -hmm. you to make mental note of where the dot was when the shot broke okay so uh 12 3 6 and 9 like the clock so okay. i want you when you when you feel the bang i want you to get a mental sight picture of where it was and your goal here is to, to keep to keep your eyes locked on so as the gun cycles uh -huh. i want you to try to keep the dot in the window because the gun's going to want to go like this on you yes you want to try to control it in such a manner, and I'm going to shoot now, okay? Okay. That's all the dot the entire way through. Okay. Remember, it's halfway back, and then squeeze the rest of the way through. If okay. you need a break, just put the gun down. Okay. It's just you and me out here. Good shot. I saw where that hit. Did you see your yes, dot all the way I through? I did see the dot. Now, what you just did, mus I... muzzle down. No. When I say muzzle down, you can just do that. Okay. Take a break. Um, what you did is what everybody does. They shoot, watch what I do, watch here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're trying to look. Yeah. You don't have to do that because you're literally seeing the target through the optics. So you get right. to look at the target. That was a good hit. You notice how much more violently it swung? Mm -hmm. Because the further out on the edge you hit it, the more effect it has. If you hit it on the inside, it's a lazy swing. Gotcha. Good job. Change your stance. No, it's wearing out your back, isn't it? No, actually it's not too bad. Okay. If you will stick your bottom out just a little bit, uh -huh. Flex your knees and get slightly forward on the balls of your feet and mm -hmm. tighten your abdominal core. You're going to have a lot more control over that gun. And you can also bend, you can bend your elbows just a little bit if you need to. Okay. So you don't have to be like this, which will wear you out. You can actually be here if you need to. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that dot. The dot, dot is a booger. Yeah. That, that was my hardest thing about this, was finding the dot consistently. I'm starting to get double. That, it's so funny that the simple change in my posture, like all of a sudden. <laughs> and when it happens. It's a whole lot more wobbly and just yeah. googly. Where'd it go? There. There it be. Shot before. Hang on, hang on. Don't do anything. There you go. That thumb ended up down there. Uh -huh. You want to keep it on the gas pedal cut. Are you I'm looking? Are you well, looking was. through the dot? Yes. At the target? Because don't look at the dot. Look through the dot. If you look at the dot, you end up seeing. If you're trying to look at that dot, you're end up you're going to end up seeing two images. You should only be seeing one dot. If you're seeing two dots, that means no. You're... I'm seeing one dot. I'm seeing two. Oh yeah. Two yeah. targets. <laughs> Remember the Bruce Willis? Yeah. That's why he. That's why he shot like this because Bruce Willis is left eye dominant, uh -huh. so he would shoot like this. Which became the quintessential, um, what's the name of that movie that we did? That Hard. Thank you. 
Shame on me, right? I just lost my man card and my wife just grabbed it. Die Hard, the original Die Hard. It was I'm like, no man. She's not a man. She's not a man. She's not a man. <laughs> this is all a woman. Anyways, watch, watch, watch. Remember this? Yeah. yeah. Right? That, that was like, yeah! But that's why he was doing it, because he's left eye dominant. He was yeah. trying to get his left eye behind that Beretta. I'm going to do the whole. <laughs> well, that's a little extreme. You're, with all honesty, because you're done, done. Because you're, you're at the very beginning stage right now, yeah. you might as well just enjoy yourself and get rid of all the crap that I have to get rid of yeah. and just start with what works for you. Because the things that we're doing are so out of the norm for what's considered acceptable firearms. Really? I'm just Yeah, I'm just trying to show you the stuff that actually works. I appreciate that because I really am a blank slate with just a tiny bit of, I mean truly. <laughs> This is what she she's a speech pathologist <laughs> in 24 years. Yeah, 24 years. So 24 years speech pathologist. She is a master at her craft. This is a whole new thing for whole her. Whole new world. People are going to say to you, you're not going to be able to squint under the stress of a gunfight. That's a lie. You can. Everything is trainable. I just got beamed in the head by my shell. Everything <laughs> is trainable because remember what I told you about this? Yeah. Everything is trainable. Yeah. But that you're is so better. True. But you're better off doing this with both eyes open. Yeah. Learning to do it with both eyes open because that's the position you're going to be in. Really? I just moved it over. Oh. All right, mag All right, out, we'll load up. Spread your legs, lower your body. You'll have more control over that. No, it was, it's literally my fingertips. Oh, uh, okay. We have our handy dandy maglulas available at herewindcitizen.com. You know what I need to do? <laughs> I need to. I need to throw in a flag With a when people buy a Maglula. I need to throw one of these in maybe, I don't know. These were pricey guys, these cost a lot to do. But they're so worth it because whenever people see them, they go, oh, that is so cool. And then I go, no, 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 it's not an aviation pull tag. Look at it again. Yeah, improved before, uh, removed before flight. I'm like, no, look at it again. No, no, no. The, there was a kid in front of us yesterday during sunrise with one in his backpack. And I went like this and I looked at it. To make sure I wasn't was looking. No, it was it was actually removed before flight. Oh, yeah. Okay. If if it had been improved before flight, I would have been like, tch, tch, and then the Roman soldiers would have gotten me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we did we did sunrise yesterday, and there was a kid in the crowd at, at the crucifixion, and it and the crucifixion is so hard to watch because as you go before Pilate, um, Pilate comes out of the building, and the Roman centurions are brutal. They're brutal with you as spectators, and then there are actors sewn into the crowd with us. And wow, I've, I've never experienced it before. It was amazing. But then you watch them, you literally watch them crucifying him. And it's obviously, it's a special effect. And then they, they raise the cross and they, and they drop it into the ground. And um, you watch the entire process of Jesus um, giving up his spirit and or speaking to the thief on the cross and then giving up his spirit. And then you watch them take the body down and then you watch them carry the body away. It's, it is moving. If you've never seen Sunrise, S-O-N-R-I-S-E, do yourself a favor, next Easter, watch it. And it's always, it's always Saturday a Saturday before, before Easter. Easter. And yeah. in this case, yesterday was Saturday, today is Easter Sunday. And it was amazing. So anyways, back to work. Okay, so. Oh, she caught herself. She caught herself. What she was about to do was the old introduce and yeah, get some, right? right? Which is what everybody does. But it's actually index finger, place it into the gun, or uh, insert it in the gun in one motion, and then hook with the thumb coming off. And, and then, then, and then, yeah. And then all the way back, all the way forward, right? Okay. And then sweep. That's right. Reach sweep over with death. your thumb, sweep. Oh, sweep. Be, hang on. P put put your hand back on the gun. No, no, I, as in sweeping. I want to show you what you just did. This index finger uh -huh. actually went there. Okay, that's so where we don't want it keep to keep these. Okay. Keep these. And just go. Okay. Always, always keep track of the fact that you do not want to go forward of this position on a handgun when it's chambered, because, <laughs> which is why you see me do this all the time. Okay. Whenever my gun is out, this support hand is out of the way. Gotcha. 
And that's why I like appendix because the appendix for appendix carry, the support hand is busy doing something. Because sure. law enforcement is, your hand goes here, you draw, and it goes out, and when it goes back, you go like this. Gotcha. But with, with the appendix carry, your, sure. your hand, sure. your support hand is always busy doing something. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to start playing with you now. <laughs> You're going to swing it, and I'm going to swing it back. And when I swing it, hang on, hang on. Yeah, do that. Okay. Honey, it's okay. There's a lot to remember, <laughs> but I want to catch them as yeah, they come. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And as that. long as as long as you accept the instruction, you're going to be fine. All right, start launching rounds. <laughs> Man. Suck. Wow, I'm not even going to edit that out. That's just <laughs> that's embarrassing. I know I scramble his brain. It's all good. Well, I mean, like. <laughs> you know what that means, right? It's time to go have some brunch. It is. So, are you catching on to what's going on? If you set up for the shot, mm -hmm. you're already tracking the target. You know it's coming. You know yeah. where it's going to be coming. There's tracking and there's trapping. <laughs> no, we are we're tracking. I'm, I'm trying to shoot, see the bullet hits on the very edge. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep missing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hit the very outer edge. Yeah, right past. Set your dot. Set yeah, your dot to where you know it's going to be. I know. It's, I was trying to do your edge thing, but I need to not worry about See, that. See, and, right and now. That's, now you understand the edge thing, uh -huh. your hand does this, yeah. which is why it's so crucial to go straight yeah. back. Yeah. You're getting to do what most people wish they could do, and they never get a chance to do, because law enforcement doesn't do this, military doesn't do this, unless you are specialized units. Why not? This is dangerous, what we're doing, which is why I moved that into the grass versus gravel. Uh -huh. Because when you shoot very close, and we're, we're extremely close for steel, yeah. okay? But um, when you shoot close, you're going to get kicked back at. Uh -huh. I'm accustomed to getting hit. Um, the chances of something bad enough coming back are slim to none. Uh -huh. But still, I just, you know, I want that barrel there whenever I can. Because I kind of like you. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. The bullet literally splits when, when you do that. Ah! I don't have an extra mag. Out of habit, I want it. I dropped my yeah. mag. <laughs> ah, go ahead, finish your mag. Good control, buddy. Are you watching your dot all the way through cycle? Yes. Stick your tush out. And one leg, yeah, one leg slightly in front of the other. Woohoo! Look at you rocking that mag, Lula. Now, I think, I, I think I've shown you, what's the matter? I'm just, lock, just practicing. I think I've shown you this before. There are 17 in here now, but watch. You can put 18 in? You can put 18 in, but guess what you can't do? Load it. It's really, really uh, hard. In fact, I'm not even going to let it sit because yeah. you'll fatigue that right there, uh -huh. and you'll also fatigue your mag catch. Gotcha. So don't be, don't be cramming. Years ago, I was, I was training someone, and this is a guy who should know things, and um, I don't want to go any further than that. This is a guy who should know things, and he, he crammed 31 rounds into his rifle mags. He's like, I can't see the mag, I can't see the mag, and I go, what's the matter? And I grab the mag and I tried to do the spongy, mm -hmm. which is how you test the mag. You do that, mm -hmm. and there was no sponge. He'd maxed out the magazines. Rut row. Rut row. Look at you, you already got it loaded and everything. I did. The only thing I didn't do is test that, but I just did it. <laughs> Just Incorrectly, done. but there we finger. go. There we go. For those that, that may have just stumbled on this channel, let me show you what we're talking about. 
This is the loaded chamber indicator. There are people who will say to you that the loaded chamber indicator cannot be trusted because and I've, and I've, no, I've, he does that all the time. And I've told this story many times. Years ago, you can put your gun down and relax for a second. Years ago, I was at a training at a training school where they had us drop our guns in the dirt, and the instructor comes down the line of 40 something, 42, 43 people, and he gets to about several, and he told all of us, face your target! So we face the target. And my camera, which was here looking down the line, when he got to this guy, he stepped on his gun, stepped on my gun, stepped on his gun. Nobody else's guns were stepped on, just ours. <laughs> Into the Tennessee Calais. And he said, pick him up! Fire! I think he said three rounds or something. And I picked up the gun, and I did bang, and then I got a click. And I did tap, rack, crunch, and I got, I think I got a bang. And then I, then I stopped. I'm like, I'm going to blow this gun up, so I better stop. And they had a five-gallon bucket by the creek in the back. So you would go in there and slosh your gun around, unload it and everything. And I realized, wait, this is a prime opportunity to test this. The loaded chamber indicator, the excuse and the claim from everyone is, the loaded chamber indicator will fill with silt, grit, whatever, and it mm -hmm. will not work. It'll, it'll stay stuck up, which will give you a false positive. That is loaded. That is but loaded, it's but it's actually not, gotcha. right? So I did something I shouldn't have. Make sure no one was watching. I put a, a mag in the gun. I racked it. Loaded chamber indicator up. Cleared it. Loaded chamber indicator down. Stuck it in. Racked it. Loaded chamber indicator up. And the gun was dripping mud and silt at that point. But it was still working. So the point is, I can tell you definitively, the Glock loaded chamber indicator works. Okay. No matter what. Now I want to know, why did he step on your guns? To make them dirty? To drive to express gun uh, to express mud through and into the gun, it literally came through like cheese whiz right. on top. I will call him back later. Why? Because because he was being a. Oh, okay. I just I wasn't sure if there was a. Purpose because I was media. Because I was media, and I had been critical of their teaching style in okay. the past, and he didn't care for me. Y'all know who I'm talking about. They know. <laughs> My, my peeps know exactly who, who and where I'm talking about. All right, send it. Hey, come on, come on. Your wife hit on the first round. Enough of the edge shooting. There's some pride involved here. Wow, you just hit mom. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shoot, this is a Shizzle. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is a hostage taker thing, so the black target in front is someone you love. The white, yeah, I'm, I'm teaching. Well, dude, come on. The white, in, <laughs> the white in back is a hostage taker, so we're only supposed to shoot the hostage taker. Which yep, is, I know, I which is what everybody it. gets to when they get to this point. We're, we're really hungry. Yeah. So it's, you're hungry, you're tired, the sun's shaky. getting hot. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. So we're going to be done here in just a bit. You feel those bullet fragments? I didn't feel those. Look at that. That takes talent. <laughs> hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hand card. Good. I don't want it anyway. <laughs> no, I don't want you to have it. <laughs> I don't want I want you to the second you see it pop in your window, shoot it back. Shoot it. Don't okay. wait, just shoot it back. Oh, I, I should have let inertia stop. Oh, you handed me. Bruh, bruh. Well, so, like, did you like Jedi force it into the gun? You're like, this Meg went in auto on a phone just because well, I, I thought I about I thought you were like, well, we'll do some more dry shooting or something. Okay, I didn't done. tell. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't right. 
I dropped the loaded mag on the freaking Baby, table. I can't even tell it was loaded. I the camera's the running. Oh, I know. Get it loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. All right, all right. Hang on. Broke my focus. Or I broke my focus on you. I love you. I love you. There you go. Just like that, we're done shooting. We're that gonna was go fun. and run. That was fun. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, sweet. Thanks for coming along, y'all. Have a great day. Happy Easter. Happy God bless Easter. you all. Have a good one. Catch you next time. All right. Don't you always say that thing? Okay, all right, all right. All right, come here. Come here. <laughs> As always, I thank you guys for supporting me at tier1citizen.com. Supporting us, actually. At tier1citizen.com. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Happy Easter. I love you. I love you. Now let's go grab some bread. <laughs>